I'm okay with buying stuff that's already used because you wash it and it's like it's brand new. It's not torn or nothing. It's just, you wash it and it's clean. So, the reason why I, and you can too, if you are E5 and below, can get all these free things is because we have a dun da 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 Hey guys, it's Kristen Legs, Kristen with the long legs, back with another long legs production, cause I'm bit and I'm backity back, and I'm back. I think I have my camera the wrong way, which is why I'm looking over here, so I'm probably going to point to the wrong thing, just so y'all know. So welcome back to my subscribers, welcome back to viewers of this video who don't subscribe, we might as well subscribe down below, it's down there somewhere. The camera flips it, so I don't know what side it's going to be on ever. But if you're new to this channel, welcome. I make videos about military, Christian things, advice, sometimes trouble. Uh, I haven't made a video in so long, I don't know what to make, what to make videos about. I, uh, I've been slacking. I need to get my life together. But um, you should subscribe because it only gets funnier from here. And now we're going to hop into the video. So today's video is actually on... Me being an airman, getting all these clothes for the free skis. And it's not just clothes. I got clothes. I get silverware, cupware, bags. I got a laundry basket. I got plates and stuff, dishes. I got um, mason jars. They have like, if you make your own wine, they have... These large wine bottles, I've never seen anyone take them, but they, they, they just sit there. All my games, not all of them, but most of my games that I get, because I love playing games with my friends. I can't wait till I get my house. I'll talk about that later. Um, but, uh, yeah, all my games I get from there, except maybe a few that, like, they don't have. But I like getting new games, but they're used games, but they're older games that, that aren't really, like, as popular but that I get to try out with my friends because my friends are down to do it, which is really awesome. I'm so thankful for my friends and that they're willing to read the directions because I am not. I'm just going to go with the flow. I got the game. Someone else is going to have to do the work and read the directions and the instructions for me because I'm not going to do it. But that is like how we bond. I really feel like the Holy Spirit leads me to get these games so I can bond with my friends. I get asked questions that you wouldn't even think about asking your friends and then you get even closer with them. I love it. All right, so I'm going to tell you guys how I got all this free stuff because I'm an airman. So I'm going to just let y'all know what it is right now because I know I usually wait to the end because I want y'all to like watch the whole thing and like see the benefits and then tell you what like the caveat is. But I'm going to tell you what the caveat is right meow. So the reason why I and you can too if you are E5 and below can get all these free things is because we have a dun da 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 airman's attic. And I don't know if that's on every base, but we have it on Holloman Air Force Base. That's where I am stationed in the Air Force. Because I said Holloman Air Force Base. Yes. But we have an Airman's Attic, which is donations from anyone, but majority it's from people PCSing who are usually higher ups, like the top threes and the officers, because they got them all money. So they give us their things that they don't want to take when they PCS or things that they don't want to use anymore. And it is catered toward E5 and below and their dependents to come in and get things that they need. Since we don't get paid that much, it's just like we get these things for free, which is so awesome. So to regulate it, you get, I think, 30 clothing item pieces a month, like 10 or 15 things of like so of like kitchen items they have okay so let me just break down i don't know what their exact thing is because i've never looked at it because i've never reached the max a plane's about to fly by that one wasn't that loud an f-16 an aircraft excuse me an aircraft is about to fly by but um Yes, I know for the clothes, it's like you can't get more than 30 clothes in a month. So every month they like track and it's not like a like strict tracking system. You can hear another one because they fly in pairs. Yes, but they let you get um, like 30 things of clothes and nothing's tracked like super strict and just things that you need. Since we don't get paid that much, you just get to come in and get these things. So every month it resets. So if you got 30 clothing items for the month of April and April is about to end then in May it resets and you get three, th 
30 more clothing items. I don't know what I was going to say. And then you get like 10 more like kitchenware item things. And I'm trying to go in there more frequently so I can use all my resources because I plan on when I move out the dorms, when I make below the zone and rank up to senior airmen six months earlier, I'm buying a house. And I don't plan on staying here forever. If I do, that would be cool too. Whatever you know, God's plan is for me. But if I don't, I still want to make money off of the house. And even if I uh, like started making money at first and then didn't later, or if I just wanted to like keep the house for myself when I come back and visit, because like I love the people who live here and they like want to live here forever. Like I know Pastor Vanessa's not going anywhere unless God tells him to, but I. It, it's looking like he's gonna stay here for a while. So I'll just have a nice little place to come like live and just visit my home. I, when I tell y'all I love it here, like I love it here. But we're gonna focus on this video and I'll tell you, talk to you guys about the stuff that I got. So since I am planning on moving into a home and like purchasing a house with the VA loan, cause I don't have $20,000 to put down on a house. That's a whole year's paycheck. Yeah. Um. I'm just buying, not buying, I'm receiving things uh, from the Airman's Attic for the free skis uh, for this future house and storing it. So we have storage here in the dorms. I have to ask dorm management again where it is because I have no idea. But I have storage like all in my room. I don't use all the storage that I have. And I like try to make a pact to not buy any more clothes, like physically buy any more clothes so I can save money towards either vacation. I know I need a laptop for school. So I have lots of storage, like my bed lifts up and they are stored underneath. And I will put stuff like the plates that I have or like cups that I acquire, silverware, kitchenware things, items to put under here. Um, Cause I'll only be here for like a year more, a year and like two-ish months more because you make senior every when you are in like a year and a half, that's when you like put your packaging and get promoted and stuff. And I plan on making it, uh, we're giving that one to God. And um, yeah, so just acquiring all these things so when it's time for me to move, like I'm prepared a year in advance so I'm not rushing to like s scrape money together and, mm -mm. cause I remember I was not ready to PCS here. Like, I don't know what I was spending money on in tech school, but I was struggling, struggling. There is a thrift shop right beside a thrift shop, a thrift shop right beside it, and I think the most expensive thing there is like, for clothing is like five dollars, and then the rest of the stuff that, like backpacks or like other stuff that people donate that you would have to buy for that you have to buy for is like priced individually, but it's not super expensive. It's more inexpensive than the thrift shops off base. And then now I'm going to show you guys just a few of the things that I got so you can see like it's not just like slim pickings. Slim pickings. Slim pickings. It's like they're regular people like you and I. So they're buying regular clothes or just getting moved around a lot. Like there's some nice stuff there. I'm going to show you guys what I got. So if you know me and I know this is like a weird position but I'm not finna sit back down holding these plates. I have lots of friends and I love hosting stuff even if it's with people who I don't know like I love hosting events and stuff and cooking for people and just I, I'm an extrovert so I love just being around people and the energy like when I buy my house I'm gonna buy a TV and I'm really not gonna use it it's gonna be for my guest or I'm gonna watch YouTube on it and that's it um, but yes I got this plate set and I think it comes with like 12 plates and like five or six little small mini plates and these are cute little plates because I can paint them a different color if I want to or yeah and they're not like these are plain plates so I can get other plates that look different and it won't be weird to have like a bunch of random plates. This is like just basic plates and they're good plates too. And then this is a cute little mid-length skirt that I got. I'm going to wear this on Sunday. It's pleated. Y'all, I love pleats. I love texture. This is a cute little tiered tank top yes shirt that I got that I'm not allowed to wear at the defect because we can't wear stuff with the defect. But I don't understand that. That's... And then this one, in theory, is cute because it's like, it's long enough to like go places and still not be looking like I don't got no clothes on, but it doesn't like fit the my figure. I'm not trying to show up my body, but it just looks weird. Like I look weird. So I'm probably going to give it back. And then this is just the cutest little, this could either be a dress or a tunic, but I am Kristen Legs, Kristen with the long legs. So this is probably going to be a tunic. My legs are so long, like... I'm not trying to 
go nowhere with the booty popping out. And then we got this vintage Nike. It just says Nike and I thought the shirt was cool. I have no idea how I would wear this or what I would wear this with, but it's free so I snatched it on up. Got an Ann Taylor blouse for when I separate and need to look business uh, professional at my other job. <laughs> Five more years come May 2nd. That'll be my year in the Air Force. I might do a video on that. Who knows? We'll see. And then last but not least, which is really not last but not least, but I'm not finna show you all the clothes I got because like 30 pieces of clothing in this video is already too long. I'm not gonna make y'all wait that long. But this is just another blouse by J. Crew. They have my stuff. Just another business professional blouse. Yeah, I need more shirts. I need more dresses. I like to throw on dresses. But yeah, these are some clothes that I got. And these are just some. These are not all. I got this cute velvet um like skater dress. That's long enough so like my butt's not hanging out. Told you guys I'm getting a house. Um, so I got bedding for it and it's like matching bedding set. So any extra money that I can save, that's fine with me. I'm okay with buying stuff that's already used because you wash it and it's like it's brand new. It's not torn or nothing. It's just you wash it and it's clean. So that is it for this video. Try to keep it nice, short, sweet, and simple for you guys since I made my video super extra duper long. Um, but now it's going to be the time for the end of the video prayer. No, wait. Just kidding. Now it's time for the end of the video scripture. Yes. All right, so the scripture for today is going to be Matthew 7, 21, and it's the King James Version. And it's kind of to address, I know there's a video that I did talking about who gets into heaven. And I've come unto more knowledge, and it's not new knowledge because it's, it's always been here. So I should have done my research more before I was talking about this. Um, but you know, if we're human, we make mistakes, and his strength is made perfect in our weakness. It just, we were made to be in a line with Jesus. We were made, but we we're like, we're made to go with him. All right, so it says, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. My handwriting is like chicken scratch. But what that means is like, you could just be saying, Lord, Lord. But it says like in the text, he that doeth the will of my father shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. So do you have a relationship with God? And are you doing his will? Like, are you listening to what he's saying to you? And then acting out on it and being obedient and being faithful. And you'll get blessed for this. It's not like you're doing it and it's like, Oh, life's the same. Like, he loves us so much that he's going to bless us. And our coming and our going in the field in the city. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. We're blessed where we go. Oh, <coughs> I like swallowed some of the stuff I erased. <coughs> All right. That is a sign that I should be done. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe down below on one of the sides. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, critiques, make sure you slide into my Instagram DMs and you can ask me any questions. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is Kristen Legs. Kristen with long legs. Signing out. Bye, guys.